so my students in my history classes always seem to get a kick out of the fact that I begin every single class with the same line. Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day here at the University of Alabama. Every day is beautiful in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I'm so glad to have you back. Now, midway through the semester, and especially by the end of the semester, uh, students kind of chuckle every time I begin that. Uh, they sometimes make remarks back, or they'll make jokes about it, or they'll even say it along with me as I begin the class. Um, that's not something I came up with on my own. It's something that one of my mentors from uh, my days back at the University of North Alabama uh, used to use in his classes every day. His name was Dr. Nelson. And um, Dr. Nelson would begin class the same way every day. Everybody knew it was coming. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was really a funny kind of happy moment every day. Um, but it was more than that, too. Uh, we saw that when Dr. Nelson informed us one semester that he had been diagnosed with cancer. Um, a rather aggressive cancer, had to have surgery, a lot of treatments. He was pretty sick. Um, his, his classroom was up three flights of stairs in a building that did not have an elevator. And it was noticeable as he was going through his treatments how difficult it was for him to make it up to the classroom. Oftentimes, instead of being the active, kind of gregarious personality that he was, um, using the entire classroom and, and uh, using grand gestures, uh, instead, during those times, um, oftentimes he had to sit down in his chair and uh, would lecture from behind his desk. Um, but every day, he continued to remind us that today was a beautiful day. Today was a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day. <clears throat> I think a day like today, at the end of a week like the one we've just witnessed, in the midst of the last few years that we've lived through, it is important to remind ourselves, as bittersweet as this truth is, today is a beautiful day. Today's a beautiful day. Every day is beautiful um, because our Creator made it. It's amazing to look outside today, all the feelings of sadness and horror and grief and disbelief and see that the birds are still flying through the air, tweeting and uh, feeding their chicks or whatever baby birds are called. It's important to see that the sun is still shining. It's important to see that there is still great good in the world. In fact, we witnessed some of the greatest good in the face of some of the most hateful evil last night as police officers who, let's be honest, they work a job. They work a job just like you and I. They get paid to do a job. But in their job, they have selected to do something really special beyond um, your average 
job. And of course, that job comes with great responsibilities. It, becomes, it comes with the great burden of being above um, many of the confrontations and conflicts that uh, normal people might engage in. It comes with a heavy weight in scrutiny, and rightly so. But these people were killed not just sitting at the precinct. They were killed protecting the rights of peaceful protesters to air publicly their grievance against the city, against the very police force that was protecting them. These police officers died protecting the rights Americans enjoy under the Constitution. And in this tragedy, I think that is an amazing statement about the strength of the American experiment. All morning long I debated whether to say anything about this because I don't want to be just another somebody who has little to no qualification to say anything about any of this running my mouth just because I can put my face easily on social media and that may still be what this is but um, I couldn't honestly document today in the vlog without saying something about how I feel on what we've witnessed in the last few days.